For those of you who still have some leftover courses that you probably don't want them, you have not wasted everything on the yet yala, and you have not gone to the Amoda Ogundele Ogundele or Be Ogundele, and then uh, you have not shared the. I mean, you have not wasted everything on a bokuari. While I take my drink break, eh? Maybe all of you should help me donate the rest of your courses to this while we dance. <laughs> So I have uh, a caller. Uh, hello. Hey, are you still on live? Or is it, you <laughs> You're live. Mm -hmm. oh, what you mean? oh, that was a good one. This is David from Houston. David from Houston. From Houston. That's yeah, great. I know you've forgotten that name. Yeah, I've forgotten that name. I called you before, man. man. Did you say David, by the way? Did you say David? Mm -hmm. huh? Did you say David? Yeah, I was enjoying it. David. Huh? Did you say David? Your name is David, yeah? Yeah, David. David. Fantastic. Yeah, David. So, David, you are live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. Great grace to your elbow, man. Thanks, man. You're doing a great job. Thanks, man. You're doing a great job. You know, like these three, three colors, that the one adult, the Mecca, and the other Yoruba guy that called, Omo. You guys, uh, that's something I, I watch on TV today. I was like, can you imagine the audacity of this guy? This cow. Mm. Speaking to a whole, see what the Southern leaders have done to us. This guy can, they can give him a platform and they will order in them. What they're doing is nothing. Mm. Then these people are, they are now becoming like a Taliban to us. And this is what our Southern leaders have, have done for us. This is what see what they like. Can anybody in the South have a platform like that and start telling the, 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 the full army that they cannot come and if they will not arrest them? Look at the platform. Let's, that he let's, was let's even put a scenario like that, David. Let me, let's put a scenario like this, yeah? Let's say, yeah. Oh, Digbo, they give a press conference uh -huh. and they say they are fighting the Northern Nigeria for not giving them land for the Igbo businessmen who want to establish a, a spare part businesses and different other businesses. And they are fighting, and they now give a press conference and say, for not giving them land in Northern Nigeria, it's against the culture of Igbo people. Like, what do you think the reaction will be if you play the other side? Yeah, yeah. You see, this is the thing that, you know, you know, I wasn't a follower of the man, but now I now see why his talk was so, that this, this, our satellite government, they really go to the North. And bend down for them, they did. and they pull their pants down. Hmm. They really pull their pants down. What what kind of audacity can this a, a cow? That guy is a cow. Hmm. How can he just come out and be speaking to professors, largely professors in the south, and they are letting letting this will go away? They are Taliban. The Taliban have entered Nigeria. They are going to hand them over. You see, what is going to hand over? There is no even election. We are just pretending to be propaganda. They have their plan. This is handed over to the Taliban by 2023. We are making there's no no election, no election. I just, I mean, I'm so scared. Some you know, the last saying, time you I know talked, somebody was talking to me the other day, and he said, "My ego, if we sit down very well and watch things very well closely, yeah, there's so much chaos that uh, Bokwari can actually, by law, he's allowed to do it too. He can declare state of emergency in at least more than." 15 states in Nigeria today. And that is more than two thirds of the entire state in the country. And by so doing, yeah, the law allows them to stay for as long as there is peace in those areas before they can conduct election in Nigeria. Whether Bibi Afran says no election, whether the Yoruba says no election, who told you that Bokwari even has a, has a plan of conducting election in the first place? Oh my God! I'm, uh, it's like, like the last, the last two weeks, almost a week ago, mm. I called him and said, "You know what? The southerners, we should not hold our southern leaders responsible. When we catch them, we beat them to death. Because these people are really telling us like they don't care. 
because their portfolio is outside the country. They can travel out to uh, and run away and leave us with all this, this um, Taliban. Hmm. This is getting too much. We don't know what to do. We need to, and again, um, like, you know, kudos to you. Thank you. Because, you know, since they got the Sundubu and um, Nanda Kano, you're the only one on the ground for the, the Southwest, but you know you're not there with them. I and I think that we need more voice for the Southwest. We need more voice. We Look at all the whole local um, election they did yesterday, or day before yesterday. See how the, the crowd were there. The Congress, these people are taking over back. This, these people we are winning. They're taking them over back. I know. They've weaponized poverty. You know what I mean? But thank you so much, uh, David, for calling tonight, okay? Let me take this other call, too. Mm -hmm. God bless you, brother. It's a pleasure talking to you, by the way. I have uh, another caller. Uh, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, princess. Is that princess? Yes, yeah, so I do. Princess Omoba. Yeah. Ayaba Omoba. Which of them? Eh? Oh, join. <laughs> oh, join. <laughs> uh, so, how are you tonight, ma? I'm fine. I'm fine. And you, Michael. Well, I'm very well. Thank you. So, you are live, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. Well done, Michael. Thank you. These Fulani people, yeah. We've been told they are Nigerians, Abi. Well, they are for, they are trying to force us to believe that they are Nigerians. But we know that uh, they are if not. they are truly Nigerians, where is their ancestral land? Right. That why should question. you ask indigenous people of Nigeria for land? If you are indigenous yourselves. Hmm. Yes, you should have. You should have a place you come from. There should be land there. That's right. These people are obviously running their private businesses. I should give my land to someone that is running a private business. Hmm. America has said it all. My ego, we are not ready. I am eating my chest here. You can see that I'm not shouting now. Cause me near meeting very party will allow you because I am tired. I'm a bit frustrated. Local government election to law should tell you southerners we vote to by the twenty twenty three. They will campaign too, princess. You will see rally. I, I you know, went to the sea, I went to the seaside, Baba. Mm -hmm. I went to the seaside about three, four months ago before they had that chairman, local government chairman election. Mm -hmm. I went to buy fish. My go, I saw elderly women. They were they were detecting terms, the amount they will collect from people. That if they are able to give them 10,000 naira, they will go and vote. I have to sit them down and talk sense into them. Elderly women, women in their 50s. Because I don't understand. We are not ready, Mayego. They did, you are uh, just here coming to tell us this. and, you know, trying to frustrate some of us. I'm right, but yeah. Princess, they did APC membership revalidation in Ogun State. When I saw crowd yeah. in Abe Okuta, I gave up. You be you be surprised. I gave up. Because I'm a I there no people working with these people. They are cooks, they are gardeners, they are chauffeurs, they are human beings like you and die. Don't we have people talk that can operate dro drones? You know, these people, these people come out of their compounds, they are 10 parties. Hmm. They are 10 functions, they go out there, they are everywhere. K1 was telling somebody to kneel down. So, hey, hey, you're talking about what I'm going to wear. That is your show. 
哭，到学校哭。我跟你讲，你啦，所以如果学校努力不如我的嘞，我是说我不认识。We are not radio, Baba. Anybody, you tell me what we are. I don't know. Um, I have been frustrated this night. I can't eat. Amen. To take and sleep. We, but we, the thing we, is, we, we, we are uh, not ready, yeah, Baba. Yeah, we won't give up. You know what I mean? We know that uh, we, uh, a year we are not ago, ready. <laughs> a year ago, two years ago. These hopeless people that came out in Abekuda that you said you saw. Ah. Where the same people that came out, they must have followed Shalali in Bay. Ah. If so we are delusional, we are Ah. The thing is, Bashe White. Eh. I know for a fact I am a Yoruba woman. My mm. Yorubas are the worst people you can mess with. Mama Sikira can be next door. And when they are giving all the laws, all the things, she won't follow it or she won't listen, but she knows what is going on. She has an idea of she what knows. is going on. She can tell you how well, she start breaking it down for you. You will know that she knows what's up. By the time people are ready, last week, Jai Jai, because we are going to have a fight. We are going to have a war. It is going to happen. And the other way around, there is every possibility there won't be one blood shed like this. They won't shed, they won't shed any blood, and we will get we will get whatever it is we are looking for. I believe. You know, bad people are the worst people to mess with. I mean, you will be surprised mm. at uh, how more. much our, we'll our women there. actually knows when it comes to this whole thing going on. But like you said, we are not ready. When we are they ready, knew it. They, they, the market the women, if you go to them, they, people buy things from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some people that, that would normally come and buy five, six birds, chicken from them that, couldn't, that, that can't even afford to buy one anymore. Mm -hmm. They know what is going on. We can fight this thing without shedding one blood like this. That Yoba, Yoba, mm -hmm. the dead Yoba, dead. Boy, Yoba, go to when you won't. Boy, exactly. just, share, just look, <laughs> look over your shoulder when they call Yoba. They will deal, fucking deal with you. Especially when they are ready. Oh, but man. I think uh, somebody's going to push that us to ready. that level, right? Uh, princess, somebody, uh, they, we, we, is they, No, they, mm -hmm. no, Wally is doing a very good job. Yes. He's doing that right. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's the man for the job. You know, oh, our yeah. own Olori Buruku, so any body loan. Oh, oh no, no one who shake. Go, 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 I do my jet. Everybody go collect your own share now. Now, now breakfast. Ah, but I don't go any new. Look, well, my, look, my, look, well, my, so, my surprise, go, can it be? Thank you so much, princess. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me, let me take another call. I have uh, a caller on the line. Hello there. Hello, James my Mugo. good evening. Thank you. Hello, sir. <laughs> How are you go? Yes, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Hey, this is Tunde from South Africa. Tunde, my brother from South Africa. How are you today, once again? I'm fine. I'm okay. We're just getting into what's it called now. Summer is getting hot. So, oh, bless you. We are looking uh, forward to autumn, then winter. It's not looking good for us here yet. But <laughs> summer, you enjoy this. You're enjoying the sun mixed with rain, wind. But lucky you, enjoy it yeah. while it lasts. Exactly. My so, princess has said it all. <laughs> she said it all. <laughs> we are not ready. And, uh, you know, poverty is a strong thing. Hmm. Ah, poverty is a strong thing. No? We shouldn't lie. We must not overlook that. You know that poverty must not overlook it. It has done a big damage in, a lot in that country. Of damages. Mm -hmm. And it has affected, you know, my, I, I used to say something. People used to think, uh, when, when you mention mental health, people think mental health, you are insulting. You are not insulting anybody. It's not. We get from them. Mm. <laughs> mental health, it's a big time thing, bro. Baba, it's a big time thing. As it is affecting everybody in that country. Look how, I mean, listen to what Princess said. 
people are their sisters. Oh, to lay room that for God's sake. By where are we going to? Where? What? 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 You know what? There are two things that's going to happen. Hmm? Mm. It's either we start now, eh? we sit down, think deeply, and we start thinking properly, or else eh? those who will fight this battle and there will be bloodshed are coming. Do you even know something, Tunde? That when you talk about people not thinking, yeah, uh, and I do think about this, and it worries me. Before this escalation of this uh, Fulani terrorists as we have them today and this insecurity everywhere today, my initial worry back then was the neglect of uh, these young, young people that are, being, that are now being given birth to in Yoruba land, where our education yeah. system has been destroyed, where healthcare system has oh, been yeah. destroyed. Now, more people have yeah. become more poorer that they can't even afford to exactly. eat, talkless of uh, sending their children exactly. to school. Even those who manage to exactly. send their children to school, they are not guaranteed that those children will find job in the same society that these criminals exactly. are ruling, right? Now, I was telling myself, I said, exactly. you see those children we abandoned now, that people are, me and you, we are hustling now, we are struggling, we are hustling now with our lives, using everything we can, doing everything legitimately from all over the world. One day, 20 years down the line, you go back to that same, uh, to Lagos, you go back to Yoruba land. Oh. You see those who are abandoned, that these people are abandoned, that are turning to the Vuvuzelas, Agberos, and these uh, political ocean, yeah. political criminals. Those ones exactly. are the, on I mean, the timely bomb that I was so worried about, oh. yeah, before this Fulani terrorism became this big old. And they are still there. Yeah. Even when we resolve the problem yeah, of Fulani dead. invasion, Tunde, what are we going to do to yeah, the dead. army of untrained, uneducated, Unemployed, unemployable Yoruba sons and daughters. Tunde? My, my, you said it all. See, do you know what you said now is what I have been thinking about several years ago mm -hmm. before Fulani, whatever came up. Mm -hmm. I used to think about it mm -hmm. because I look at some coming up youth and I, I, why? I mean, so many damage has been done already. Mm -hmm. Our education is very, very, very bad. And I was worried about that, not knowing something bigger, something bigger than that is still coming. I mean, how are we going to deal with all these things at the same time? We have a big problem, and that's what, that's what I'm saying. By the time these youths, these young ones, can't tolerate this anymore, mm -hmm. there will be bloodshed. I'm telling you, people. You see all these people, all these celebrities that they are behaving like they are not seeing anything. They will start seeing things when people start going into their houses and and and, and, and robbing them up. Mm -hmm. Young young guys will be robbing them. There was a time I was called from, from, from home that uh, a youth from like uh, 18, 16, 17, 18 were robbing people, going to people's houses until people had to come out and defend themselves. I remember. You understand? This is what is still going to happen. It's still going to... That one was just phase one. That worries me. Today, honestly speaking, every time we talk about full and need this, full and need that, I know that we will get rid of this whole thing at some point. They will, go, they will be gone. All this intimidation, this spread, terrorists, I mean, full and we can deal with that when time, when we get to that point, we'll get rid of them. But what are we going to do to the army of unemployed, untrained, abandoned young people by these exactly. criminals who are parading us exactly. our leaders? What are we going to do exactly. about them? Exactly. Imagine, if you look, at, just look at what is going on in even our, our, our institutions. Uh, we are, we are, we are, just, we are beating eh, people who, are, who have got no training at all. I'm telling you, this is why our system is crumbling. Every system is crumbling. I'm telling you, every part, every infrastructure, everything in that country is crumbling. Then let us why? Up easily, why are we... peacefully, and no bloodshed. Let everybody it's... go manage with their own problems. Look, we can retrain our exactly. people in Yoruba land if we have access to our resources without anybody dictating how we are we going will. to spend it for us anywhere. Uh, we I mean, will. We will. We will. We will if we if we, if we if we have all these things to ourselves. We will not like somebody from uh, Castina or whatever will be dictating what's going to happen in in, in southern part or in open state. No, it's, it's an insult. No, to, to be honest, it's an insult because well, Princess said we are not ready. This, this will mm -hmm. Princess said uh, we, we are not ready. Or maybe when we, we are, are ready, we are not. We are not because because she is right. No, no, pertaining to what's going on when you talk to people, it's the way some people. In fact. 
by Ibu are top talking to some people in Nigeria. I won't lie to you. Hmm. I mean, I'm not talking like you don't talk, but when it comes to going things going on in, in that country, mm-hmm. I don't talk to them about it anymore. Because whenever you're talking from this side, they go the other side. That's I right. don't know. I don't know. Maybe they are ignorant it's intentional. or what. I don't understand. Mm-mm. It's intentional. You know, they dis- they deviate. They deviate. So when terrible. you try to make a comment it, or make a statement it, or whatever exactly. they deviated to, they change it again. But Tunde, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Okay? Exactly. Thank you so much exactly. for calling in tonight. Thank you, my God. God bless you. Eh? Please you continue too. what you're doing. We, you stay safe. We, we cherish you a lot, brother. We God bless you, brother. Thank yeah. you, God. You have Thank a good you, one, man. Nice Thank one. you. Take care. You too. Yeah. I have another caller. Sorry, I I don't know. I just feel connected uh, to every one of you so differently. And uh, Tunde from South Africa is just like any of you too. Uh, hello there. Hello, my general. Hello, sir. Is that Odene Pagu? Yes, I am the one. Thank Ekagu, you. Pagu, my brother. Thank you, my general. How are you, you are doing? The, the, the truth. I'm good. How are you? Beautiful. And thanks. You are live, by the way. Yes, my ego, we are running a federal system of government. All right? That's right. A pseudo federal. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. So... Is there any consultation when presidency or president are making all these moves, open grazing, waterways, bill, Ruga, cattle colony, now is farm estate? Hmm. Is there any consultations at all? Can they just wake up in the morning and tell us that they want to create farm, farm estate for us without we, you know, being aware of it? Well, they did try mean, to consult, but it wasn't like it wasn't a consultation per se, uh Agurai. It was pretty much like we want to take those land there, we want to take those land there, we'll give you some money. And people said, No, there's no land to take. So there was no because consultation. The way they're and every, going time, every now and then they ask, people told them we have yeah. no land. No land. Because my father, my father was a farmer. I was born in a farm settlement. And the federal government has not played any role in anything that concerns our farm. Why now? They brought Ruga, they brought Colony, they brought uh, Waterways Bill, they brought uh, ranching. Why do they, they have vast land in Kaduna State? I know Kaduna, I know um, um, Niger State. They have vast land more than the whole southern east, southeastern Nigeria. Why are they always on this land, 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 everyday land, the same topic? Uh, people should wake up. Uh, this thing is not uh, this is not ordinary. But uh, uh, um, previous has said about um, uneducated youth. Listen, most of uneducated youth don't know what is going on in Nigeria. And if like now, if you if you are talking now, they will see you as a threat. That you are this, you are that, you are this. You are you are collecting money from this, you're, not knowing that you are speaking for them. They don't the reason why they are the way they are right now is because of the politicians that put them in that mess. But they don't know. Hmm. They don't know. I don't know when they will realize that Nigeria is sinking and the Flanese are fighting their last fight. If they lose this fight, that's the end of the day for them. They will not do nothing again. No land for them. That's that one for sure. Any governor from the south that gives them land, you're on your own because at the end of the day, we will go back and collect our land. Flanese has no essential land in Nigeria. They are not from Nigeria per se. That's why they are busy going from one place to another to take land. Because they don't have any land. If you say Nigeria, divide them now, go back to your, your place. Tulaninu has no great grandfather. They only have um, my name. My name is Aminu Sokoto. My name is uh, Kanuri Zampara. My name is Kaduna Ibrahim. That's all they know. Hmm. Like now, they are jubilating that the the, the president of um of um, uh, uh, um Guinea Guinea Conakry or Guinea was was um uh, overthrown. They were happy. But now, do you know what is going on there? You know that Fulani has, um, uh, I think, they have forty percent population of, uh, of, of uh, that, that country called uh, Guinea Conakry. They have, they have a different of, name of, for them. Population. They are not actually Fulani, so to say, but uh, uh, maybe culturally, yeah. But I get what you mean. I culturally, do. Mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Now they are feeling marginalized in Guinea Conakry. They said they have more population in Guinea Conakry, but those that they call minority are the one in power controlling them. Now they're angry over that. 
But now, coming to Nigeria, Fulanis are less than 5 million in Nigeria, but they are the ones controlling over 200 million of us, and we are comfortable doing that. Do you see the, do you see the, do you see the, the, the trick now? They are controlling us in Nigeria, but they don't want other people to control them in other countries. They call it um, uh, apartheid. You, not, you understand? But they are comfortable doing the same thing in Nigeria and trying to do it more. Do you understand? Hmm. Nigeria should wake up. Nigerians should wake up. Wake up. Wake up. They Stop sleeping. To. Wake up. Hmm. Wake hmm. up. Wake up, people. You'll be compelled to speak like us. We are talking now. You think we are, we are just uh, yapping. You will be compelled to speak like us. But if I be late for you, maybe your head will be at the back of your, your neck God by then. You. Wake up, people. Thank, Thank you, my general. Thank Ibaru, you a lot. My brother. You are my last caller tonight. And I love the oh, way the closer. Oh, lovely. Trust First me. time. I know. I love it when guys uh, do this uh, brilliant closer. I mean, this closure for me, it just saved me the time. Oh, you know? So thank I you. I appreciate Ibaru. Thank you a lot. It's a pleasure. All right. Have a good tonight. night. Stay okay. Safe, bro, all, right? all right. Have a good one. Okay. And bye bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time to, uh, with me tonight, okay? This is where we're going to draw the curtain uh, tonight. Uh, thank you to every one of you, the callers, the contributors, the sharers, the likers, the dislikers, and every one of you who made tonight uh, a little bit interesting as well, okay? Uh, to my friends on YouTube, thank you to every one of you. Again, if this is your first time uh, of watching Mayegu, remember you can leave me that... Uh, subscription subscribe on there give me that thumb up if you can uh if you haven't i mean i'm gonna see you some other time somebody said my ego we want to listen to that uh fulani 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 again however don't leave without leaving that uh like or that thumb up i'm gonna see you uh some other time so good night where is the president of the city? Ford man! Those that are ruling his name. It's full on it. Things are okay. telling you that their modernization first agenda is now complete. It's totally complete the after that. Where is their president from? Full on it. Chief of staff, full on it. Chief Justice of Nigeria, full on it. Senate President of Nigeria is coming to your process, full on it. Deputy Speaker is full on it. The Army Chief of Staff is full on it. Navy Chief, full on it. Police IG, full on it. DSS is plan. National Intelligence Agency is plan. National Security Advisor is canary of course. I'm Tanja Weed. Why do you hate Igbo people? I want to prove to all the fully fools that the hatred today in this room was brought about by Fulani and Tanja Is it very clear to you now how they wrote? Is it very clear? Listen to the minister. Minister of Defense, Fulani. Minister of Finance, Fulani. Somebody that studied in Sharia law is the head of the judicial system. Is it very clear to you now how they go? This is what I'm talking about. Federal Capital Territory, Fulani, Agriculture, Fulani, Police Affairs, Fulani, Aviation, Fulani, Communication, Fulani, Power, Fulani, Water Resources, Fulani, Everything is Fulani. All the 19 Northern Governors are Fulani, except the main way of my Twitter and Code. Is it very clear to you now how they This is a logical republic. Because Fulani have a game plan. From the world go, their game plan is to dominate and subjugate you. Dominate and subjugate you. Where is their president from? Fulani. Chief of Staff, Fulani. Chief Justice of Nigeria, Fulani. Senate President of Nigeria is Kanuri, of course, is Fulani. Deputy Speaker is Fulani. The Army Chief of Staff is Fulani. Navy Chief is Fulani. Police IG is Fulani. DSS is Fulani. National Intelligence Agency is Fulani. National Security Advisor is Kanuri, of course, is Fulani. Minister of Defense, Fulani. Fulani. Minister of Finance. Facebook, 